and the Vigiano family waited almost 26 months for this day to see justice served. Uh, I couldn't say much in the last month. Uh, we were dragged through this trial. We didn't want to take a plea deal, so we were dragged through here, and this is just another chapter of this horrible journey that especially my daughter and myself is on, plus my family, my wife's family, and all of Joseph's aunts, uncles, cousins, and his friends. Uh, the driver of the car, I don't even want to mention his name, he took my son's life that morning, and he took Mr. and Mrs. Vigiano's son's life, okay? We'll never get them back, but he destroyed two young boys, one my son, which is my daughter's brother, and I see how sad it made her. And she is lonely, she is in sadness, and she has tears because she doesn't have her brother with her. Every day. Every day. And this guy took two lives. He destroyed two young boys, and he destroyed two families. Horrible for them. Yeah. Roseanne has been horrified. I mean, it just took drastic measures to the family. And they lost a mother, too, they right? They lost a mother not too long ago. Mm -hmm. It's just horrifying. It was just a horrific accident. I mean, I remember the call we got. Joey sure, was a good kid. I mean, a thousand people showed up for his funeral. I mean, honestly, I think that Bible reading was all a bunch of BS. Yes, me. Personal, I think he was just getting the media involved. I think it was all a, a front. When you heard the verdict come in today, what were you feeling? I, I personally said it to uh, Jessica that I knew he was going to get, I knew he was going to be found guilty. I told Jessica from day one, I said, he's going to be guilty. 